Who doesn't love quick and simple vocal mixing tricks? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you a cool one. How you can get a really nice crisp sound, the professional polish on vocals using one plugin, but there's more. Let's take a look at it. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mix Best TV. Hope you're having a great day. Before we start, please check the info box down below for my mixing courses on Pro Mix Academy, free plugins, special offers and discounts, and also link to the plugin that we are gonna use today for this trick, which is Denise Audio Dragon Fire. And if you wanna support the channel, but most important, if you really wanna learn how to mix and master professionally, click the join button down here, become a Mix Best TV member and access the already big and always growing library of full mixing courses, start to finish, mastering courses, special videos, and a lot more. You you also got mixed consultations with me via Skype or email. Let's get to the video. All right, I hope this is gonna be a really interesting video. It's a super simple trick, but so very efficient. This is not a new trick, actually. Colleague Andrew Shep made it popular, so to speak, and many people call it the opto push pull vocal trick, which is usually done using three very expensive piece of gear, one pull tech, one LA-2A, and a second pull tech. Or if you don't have the hardware, we do that with plugins, of course. But talking to Joe from Denise Audio Plugin, he made me aware that basically they incorporate this entire chain in one specific preset using their Dragonfire plugin. If you're not familiar with it, I have a review on the channel. I highly suggest you to take a look at it because there's no other plugin like Dragonfire. Let's take a look at the original trick first. Although this is a vocal trick, of course you can use it on pretty much anything else where it fits. So for this example, I will start showing you this on an acoustic guitar because I feel it's slightly easier to hear the effect and not be distracted by the lyrics, okay? So the original trick is done this way. With the first pull tech EQ, you cut the low end. As you can see here, I set my frequency at 60. I'm attenuating six, around six. And then you boost the mid high range. Then you need an LA-2A style compressor, the second plugin. In this case, I'm using our compressor in opto mode and I'll add warmth. The sound right now is thin because we didn't use the second equalizer, but the reason we're using the first EQ to cut the low end and enhance the mid range and the high end is so the compressor uh, reacts to those frequency better so you can make the material dense without the compressor reacting too much to the low end. And why don't you use an internal sidechain? That's something different. This is a different kind of uh, effect that we want. Cassette is an old school trick, has been used on countless records, so it has a very specific familiar sound. That's why it gives us that very crisp and polished top end. After the compression, you need a second pull tech style EQ in which basically you revert what you did with the first one. So you boost the low end and you attenuate the high end that we boosted before. All right, you can hear immediately, it gives you that very recognizable pop style type of sound with the dynamic controls, but not with a transparent kind of compression, with a squeezed LA-2A style compression and that top end that is crisp, okay? Especially inside of a mix, this will make whatever element you process this way up front and in your face, what you want usually for a lead vocal. But like I said, you can do all of this using instead of three processor, one plugin, then is Dragonfire. In fact, they actually made a preset. You can find it here in the vocal folder called Denise Opto Push Pull Trick. Okay, if I load it, you can see it's very similar to what I had a second ago. I just tweaked this one in particular to match the level before and after and to show you a couple of things. So first of all, let's bypass all the three that we had and let's hear with Dragonfire without
okay you can hear you get the same effects just in my opinion a little better a little more natural and let's analyze really quick this plugin so we have like i said a dedicated video on dragon fire and if you go to and watch that video you can see that you can make the dragon fire compressor react and behave like an la2a to do so you put the curve here at 100 percent in this case the rms is a 16 percent so instead of reacting to peaks you react more to the energy and again because you have all these extra control you can tweak this old school trick to fit modern music for example for an acoustic guitar you want a little more rms instead of peaks right up to you you can do it same for the knee you want a a steeper knee or a slightly softer knee you can tweak that you hear how solid and in your face the mid-range is it's really cool and then you have the drive in this case if you want your la to a style compressor to be a little more dirty you can do it right it's very subtle because this technique is also used as you can see in parallel so in this case i'm using 50 percent to blend with the original signal that's also why it sounds a little more natural attack is at 10 milliseconds and release at 80 milliseconds to kind of emulate again the, the la 12 style compressor but the key here is in the eq in the two eq the eq before the compressor and the eq after the compressor which really is what makes dragonfire unique because you have this pulled slider here here is our eq curve so cut the low end boost the top end and with the pull slider all the way to zero this eq is in full force so it affects the output okay but to reverse this eq curve which is what we do with the second equalizer we move the pull slider right it's a really really cool trick and again concentrate on how solid and in your face is the mid-range which is you know the money range let's try this really quick on vocals because this is historically a vocal trick with uh dragon fire all right male vocal i know the season's ripe for change it's changing all around i know the reasons you've arranged they're tearing me down where is the peacefulness of mine? All right, pretty cool effect, big difference, but still natural. Again, that mid range in a mix with it and without. We start without. I know the seasons about to change, it's changing all around. I know the reasons you've arranged, it's tearing me down. Where is the peacefulness of mine? Where will my heart come back to life? All right, this is actually not even a mix. It's just raw tracks of this song with no plugins, no anything. But it's just to let you hear in a context, of course. I think it's pretty cool because you have the processor chain right there. You open it, you have the preset. And then you can spend like a couple of minutes tweaking the settings to your taste and to fit any track. Really quick on a female vocal. All I ever wanted was to stand my ground. Big words to confuse and spin your mind around. But every little stab just takes me further down I found my soul just waiting in the lost and found Babe, it's nothing you did So stop talking stupid I like when you can hear that LA to A squeeze on the consonants at the beginning of phrases But in this case, being in parallel And I kind of like to push it towards the mix a little more It's more natural to have 
one compressor and insert really squeezing the vocals, which sometimes is what we want. But in this case, this trick, this is how it's done. And I think it's really cool. You can tweak all the parameters and you also have a bunch of other really cool uh, presets in this uh, Dragon Fire. And that's pretty much it. I don't think I've ever shown you uh, this trick in a video before, because for me, it's just an old school trick. And I assume like pretty much everyone uh, knows it, but we have a lot of new subscribers and everything. And the fact that you can use Dragon Fire instead of three different plugins to do it, it's pretty cool. I hope this video was useful. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please don't forget to leave a like. Follow Mixbest TV on Instagram and Facebook. There's a lot of news coming up and a lot of exclusive content on those pages. Click the join button if you want to access the good stuff, become a member. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.